was. Yay. A happy morning, Sunday morning, Weezer Tunes to get us going today. How's everybody doing out there? Good morning, Pearl and Sheila S. Good morning. And Jean S. And Laurent and Elsa and Sandy McAllister and Christine wow. and Melissa wow. and Florence Delaney. How are you? And Annalise Raidman. Wow, we've got everybody from, from all, all over the over world. The place. Becky cool Huffman, beans. our friend Bob Black. Bryce. Hey. The man with the lucky streak who's still waiting to get that lucky streak back. Yeah, come on. Carolyn and who else we got out there? And Tracy Hagen and anybody else sitting out there who hasn't Jimmy said anything in chat. Christmas. Good morning. Wow. Happy Sunday. This is the the very last Sunday of 2020. We're very excited to be here. Goodbye, 2020. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Carolyn. We'll see you next time. Good morning, Anthony Monroe. How are you doing? And the Arcaders are here. Fantastic. Love to have other YouTubers here who love gaming as much as we do. That's fantastic. Good morning, Barbara. Because real games take quarters. <laughs> real games take quarters. That's right. Or if you're in the Netherlands or somewhere else, they take a different kind of currency. You never know. Real games take coins. There you go. That's right. How's everyone doing out there? So today, folks, we will be doing our mystery bag game. We're not going to get started on that, though, for a few minutes. And I'm getting a sense that someone's tapping. Is it troll? Oh, sorry. How was that? I was, I was trying to impersonate. I have a sneeze. It's going to happen at some okay. point. Okay. Uh, some point, bless you. Thank you. Okay. I've taken care of my responsibilities now. So. I'll try to aim away from you. I appreciate that. I, I really do, you know. And uh, you might be over by the other camera at that point, though. True. You never know. So I don't know. It's quite the chickle. Anyway, good morning, everybody. So uh, this is our pre-mystery bag game show where we sit around and chat a little bit before we start doing the mystery bag games. I've got a few boxes but left to assemble. What we got to do is we got to do like the football pre-game things do, and they talk about the different players and stuff. They give the little the synopsis of a bunch of stuff. We you could. Know. We could. I'll sign you up for that right away. Hey, thank you. Hey, good morning, Jason Callen. How are you, hey, man? Jason. Jason, your birthday is coming up on Tuesday. So, again, pre happy birthday to our friend Jason Callen. Hey, good morning, Jeremy Liberstadt. How are you doing? And Rose Kohler, good morning. Look into a bright light. <laughs> Oh, I'm handing Sherry a box, and I got another box to do. I've got a few more boxes here. These boxes are for the mystery bags. And, of course, our show is scheduled to start at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. We are in Idaho. You have two minutes. I got two minutes to finish assembling these boxes. So, good morning. Glad you're doing great, Jason. Junior Hockey Junior World Championship, Sheila. That's cool. Ooh. Good morning. All right, folks, and so today, if you're joining us for the first time, we will be doing our mystery bag giveaway shortly. And uh, just to give you guys a preview, there is our mystery bag. It's all the set up in machine. the coin pusher. Uh, yeah, in the digger machine. And yes, if I accidentally grab a Bitcoin, that's what you win. It's gone. That's right. Those and they are, are not they are not $19,000. No, these are Bitcoin tokens, which they're awesome. They look great in a machine. They're shiny. They, they've been they chewed on in the coin pusher. They've a been bit. they've been used in various coin pusher videos, and they are looking for a new home. So, what better home than yours? Right. So we hope we can find some. And Bryce, maybe maybe you'll get lucky yeah, today. Yeah, maybe it's Bryce's turn. <laughs> yeah, Bryce, you've been eyeing those bitcoins for quite a while, man. I think you said Bob Black is here. He got the. How the heck did that that's happen? Right, prize that's right. That's right. Bob Black won our a a, he got a bobby uh, whistle. A bobby whistle, which we didn't think was possible winning. Jason Callen, I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, uh, the the drawing of you, man. And we're serious. We want to we want to build a game with you at some point here in the future. Um, I think it'd be a yeah, lot of fun. I we have a set up for a game this morning that I'm not sure what the game is going to be. We might need to do one of those. Hey, let's make a game. That's right. We might be doing a, a build a game sometime today live stream. So um, who knows? All right. I beat my deadline. It is 10 a.m. on the dot and I've got my all the boxes assembled. So good morning, everybody. Uh, it is now the official time to start our typical Sunday live stream. Uh, and as part of this week's live stream, 
Uh, we have we something some incoming, uh, special incoming. for us anyway. So we received our first piece of mail uh, from Gene S. So thank you, Gene S., for sending this. We just picked this up. I think it was yesterday. The post um, office changed. The post office changed the our locks. locks. Uh, in fact, they changed the locks for all of the uh, P.O. boxes in their building, and they didn't tell anybody. So there's that nice. I went down. We've we've only checked it a couple times, and I went down there to pick it up right before Christmas, and I couldn't get in. So, Gene S., we got your card, and we're going to open it here live. And uh, hopefully there's no trolls in it. <laughs> but we really appreciate that, Gene. Thank you. It was we very sweet of you. We have to even say that. Now people are going to start sending trolls. Oh, honey, people have been wanting to send us trolls no, for ages. So. No, All trolls. All right, it is an amazing glitter dog. Thank you. A dog. That's cute. So cute. It says, have a blessed Christmas, John Cherry Cricket, friends, Sam, Gene, and Samuel. So, thank you so thank much, you so Gene. much, Gene. That was a very lovely that card. That was very sweet. And we actually keep our Christmas cards, and we set, we we decorate our house with them this time of year anyway. And um, normally we only open them on Christmas. So thank you so much, and we enjoyed sharing that with everybody. Cool beans. All right, I'm gonna set that aside here for a minute. Okay. All right. So um, are you glittery? We are excited. I am. You glitter. You look I it am. in your hand. You got glitter. And the great, the, I, we love glitter in this the house. The gift that keeps on keeps giving. on giving all year long, just like the uh, Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> no. All right, everybody. So, uh, check just checking up on chat. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Uh, and uh, we do the, our plan for any mail we receive is we will open it live. Uh, we will open it blind. So don't send any nudies or anything like that. Family friendly. <laughs> Uh, Sherry, so did you show show you my life size troll and claw dude? Uh, yeah, so we, we 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 did, but it was cute. Remember, remember that was the costume. Uh, yeah. The girl was it was all. <laughs> it, was it was it was great. <laughs> it was better than the pink bunny suit. Come I'm on. I'm sorry if if suddenly I opened up the door and there was a life yes, size Rose, troll there. Yes, Rose, freak out, man. Freak out. <laughs> it was cute, but I I know if I opened the door, <laughs> wow, I'd be on the floor, man. On yeah, the floor. yeah. Uh, Sandy McAllister says my seven-year-old's great niece stole a mystery bag full of trolls when they came up Christmas Eve. <laughs> I hope she enjoys that, Sandy. That's pretty. That's awesome. Uh, Laura Lee, did I miss the Cookie Monster video? Yes, the Cookie Monster video was a couple weeks ago. That was uh, pre-Christmas, I think. Yes. So, yeah. So today, so this week, let's actually talk about which videos we're looking at today. John stopped numbering them. No, they are all numbered. Oh, you uh -huh. renumbered them? I told you it was just this just the week they, they were not numbered. So Okay. Anyway, so this week we are starting here. So there's our last live stream that we did last Sunday. I shouldn't say a last live stream because we actually have been doing a lot of live streams. We've been this doing week, a lot of live just streams. Just doing it randomly. But this was a this was a last giveaway. Uh on Monday we released the Kissing Coin Towers video, uh, where uh mistletoe was involved and we asked everybody to tell us your mistle, mistletoe story if you have such a story. We better take advantage of the mistletoe yes, over the front Yes, we, we have mistletoe outside of the front of the house, and unfortunately, we in, go in and out of the garage, not the front door. So mm. we've missed many mistletoe opportunities. On Tuesday, we had our Mega Wall Workshop video, uh, which was a giant workshop made out of coins and poker chips. And uh, Mrs. Claus was trying to get all of the presents ready for Christmas and get them into... Out of the workshop and and moving forward. Get into the sleigh. On Wednesday, we had another coin tower. This coin tower kind of split open in a very cool shape that was as cool. it as it dissolved. And Slimer was trying to steal all the presents. Slimer was our Grinch this year, and um, yeah, and it was quite quite a conundrum that he had there. So, but luckily Christmas happened, and hopefully everyone got it. On uh, Christmas uh, Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve, Mac and I had to assemble a bicycle in the coin pusher. And apparently the instructions were in Korean or Chinese or uh, Czechoslovakian or maybe there was Portuguese or or Afrikaans. I'm not sure, but uh, Mac and I were not able to translate them and we had some problems with that. And, and then we had a flash in the pan this week. One of them, uh, which will be was our uh, Harold Lloyd video. Of course, that's just a flash in the pan uh, that's not actually a video we give away for at this point uh, on Christmas Day we had our giant uh, Christmas tree coin tower and where we were it was a super mega coin tower and we asked everybody just to tell us you watched the video so 
commenting on that um, video was all you needed for okay, an entry so on that one. Okay, so how many entries did we get on that one? We're going to find out shortly. <laughs> um, and then our um, yesterday, of course, we had a return of mystery date in the coin pusher, and our favorite pirate fellow no, Roger not my favorite. was there to not my um, play Roger the game. Roger and I are now estranged. Uh, well, you know, and the stepsisters were there too because they're still chasing after. Roger. At least they and, actively well, participate in the games. They, they did. And, Roger. And I, and I must say the outcome was, again, unexpected by us. So that was a lot Anytime of fun. Anytime Roger is involved. But those are the videos so we'll be doing, giving away for. So, uh, um, yep. And we're going to actually be starting here with the Mistletoe game, uh, which was Monday's game. That'll be our first one we give away well, for. Well, just tell me when. All right, so do 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 do. All right, over there. Sharon Dillard says, "I love how you guys put so much time into making these videos. I'm sure it can be exhausting, but you do show the love. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, we enjoy it, and it gives us something to do and keep us busy um, this time of year. Uh, you know, we're all everybody's locked down, so why not make some fun videos and do something crazy and uh, show the love? So uh, tell me when to tiptoe. Someone's tiptoe. ready to head on over to the digger machine. So Shall Sherry." Head on over. Okay. Let's go. pop on over to the digger machine and start taking a look at what's going on and what we're going to do. Is it jiggling? It's a jiggling. Okay. So, folks, here we are at the digger machine. We are looking at the contestants or the entries that I have recorded for video 92. These entries are, of course, final. And, um, yeah, so in this particular video, we had, let's see how many entries, we had a total of 50 entries of folks wow. who we think answered that question. Awesome. Uh, there's been a few times where someone sneaks into the drawing who didn't answer the question. That's not always intentional, but we get a lot of comments and it's a lot to sort through. So we're, we're doing our best here. And, uh, but yeah, it looks like we had uh, 50 entries this week. So I'm going to highlight this list. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to randomize the range here and see who comes out on top for the first quarter today. And if you're new to this and you've never seen how this works, here's what we do. So we begin by randomizing the list of names. Okay, so I've randomized the list of names and the first person on this list, list today is our friend from South Africa, Annalise Raidman. She will be getting the first quarter. So Sherry's going to put a quarter into the digger machine and try to win a mystery bag. Whatever comes up on that quarter's Annalise's. If nothing comes up, we move on. We play on until we get a mystery bag for the video, and then that contest is over. Oh, oh that was a miss, Annalise. I'm sorry. I so was right on it. it was. It you was were. Ah, uh, okay. So our next one. Here we go. And Annalise said they don't have mistletoe in in uh, in South Africa. So our next oh. our next. Contestant here, second quarter, is Eric Haynes. So Sherry is now playing for Eric Haynes and is going to try to win a mystery bag for Eric Haynes. Hey, there's a troll! You put a troll! <laughs> you put a troll. What? Where is there a troll? Oh, check it out. You put a troll up on the arm of the machine. I bet they oh, can't even yeah. see it. And look at what the mystery bag did. The mystery bag pulled up, and it's a slight miss. So sorry, Eric. There, there's a troll on the mystery bag, too. What are you doing? <laughs> what the heck did you do? Trolls haven't you been in the trolls machine You put trolls everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun. Okay. It's not. So it I'm is. It's fine. Okay, okay, sorry, Eric Haynes. That was a miss for you. On to the next one. The next quarter here is for Florence Delaney. So he said okay. she's never been kissed under the mistletoe. Eric Haynes also said he'd never been kissed under the mistletoe. All right, pulling for Florence. That's a grab around the mystery bag. Florence. And, oh, it's coming up. I was hoping the troll oh, would the go troll with it. Oh, the troll got left behind. It's a troll ew. Oh, with, wait a minute. mystery bag in the loot chute. It's way up in the chute, though. It didn't come out. Arm. Oh, my arm got stuck. Okay. <laughs> this is why you never stick your arm inside my arm of the got machine. stuck in the machine. Arm got stuck inside the loot chute, folks. It oh, was, my goodness. It was <laughs> way back. It was way, way, way back. Could it, is it still showing on the camera? Yeah. My hand was way up in there, and it All got right, stuck. All right, Sherry's opening the okay. bag. 
It is a stack of Mardi Gras doubloons. Congratulations, Morris. Wait a minute, there's, but wait, there's more. You also got Santa and Mrs. Claus under the mistletoe. I'm sorry, this is out of focus. But congratulations, Florence. Correct, it was Florence. Yeah, well, that was Florence. So, so many I names. am notifying Florence right now, and I have notified her that she has won the mystery bag and sent her a link to the live stream. So, congratulations again. It looked like it was never going to happen. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Now I got to work around trolls. Oh, those trolls are adorable. You yeah. love them. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. You love them so much. I can tell. Our viewers know how much you love them. <laughs> right? They would love to send you extra trolls. <clears throat> I know. Happy trolls, sad trolls, gorgeous trolls. Ugh. Anyway, congratulations, Florence, on your win, Florence. That's awesome. Okay. I think this is the first time for you. Hey, Florence, you're here with us too. Amazing. Congratulations, Florence. I forgot you were here. Awesome. Thank you for doing a shout out. Big congratulations to you. We are super excited. Uh, please email us. So you'll notice that our email address has been updated. We now have an email, which is winner at we play you win Florence. Please email us your shipping information at winner at we play you win.com. And uh, we'll get you that mystery bag shipped out um, as soon as we can. So again, congratulations Florence. Please make sure you email us. Awesome. Okay. Moving on to our second video which is the video 93, which is the mega wall workshop, which again, Mrs. Claus was trying to get all of those presents out of the workshop uh, and ready for Santa. Um, so let's head on over to the digger machine and take a look. All right, I need to pull up the list of um, entries for video 93. So here we are, video 93. Ironically, Florence, you're on top for this one, but I haven't randomized it yet, but that's that's certainly uh, uh, ironic. I, I love stuff like that. So uh, we had total number of entries for this video. We also had 50 entries for this video. So wow. that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to highlight this list of names and going to randomize the list, and we're going to see who's the who's got the first quarter here. The first quarter is for Laurent Peralt. All right, okay, Laurent, this Laurent. quarter is for you. Yes, Debbie, Bryce, trolls equals mischief. The arcaders say let's we see, have let's see, the let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. National Troll Day. Oh! Oh, no! no right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Laurent. Oh. No, I thought he had oh, it. Man. I thought he had it. Oh. Man, I thought that was a win for sure. Man. Oh, Next man. victim. All right. So one the, of those days, huh? That's right. So the next entry here is video was for Mike the Fella Spike. This is Mike the Spike. Sherry, you're playing okay. Mike the Spike. Mike the Spike. All right. Let's see if you can grab a mystery bag for Mike the Spike. And it's come a on, round. Come on, come on, and come on, come what's going to happen? Yeah, I Hold got up. that. Oh! That's, that's totally a grab. There. That's a grab. Aha! Right. Awesome. Oh man. Oh, Did he get man. stuck again? No. Did he get okay? Good. We could only wish. <laughs> because Mike the Spike. Oh man. You got a trio of trolls. Oh Mike. Lucky you. Congratulations. And you got <laughs> you got Mrs. C. Oh, and a lovely blue Christmas present that doesn't want to focus, but trust me, it is. Congratulations, Congratulations, Mike, Mike the Spike. Spike. Oh, and somebody has decided to grace me with her presence. Cricket is here. Say hello, Cricket. Sit. Say hello. Hey, sit. Speak. 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 Good girl. All right, Cricket says hello. It's hard for her. That's really hard for her. She doesn't like to spike. Speak. So to speak. She doesn't like Spike. Sorry, she loves it. She likes you, Mike. She likes anybody with a cookie. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations, Mike. Uh, moving on to the next video. And folks, that is that Mike, the fellow Spike, is Mike the Spike, who's joined us on many live streams in the past. Awesome. So moving on to our next video here. So we are on to the slime. Isn't Mike presents. the one who's always the dissenter during the blind games? 
Yes, Everybody Mike says does. left yes. and he says uh, right. Yes. He, oh, he's a Weisenheimer. He, yeah. <laughs> he's a wise guy, that's for sure. I like him. All right, so our next video, of course, was Slimer in the Presence, where Slimer was trying uh, to steal the presents and become These are the all Scrooge. hard to grab now. The ones that were easy to grab took me that many tries. These all are really looking hard to grab. All right, so I'm okay. going to pull up the list of entries for video 94, which was our Slimer video <laughs> oh. here. Here's all of our entries for video 94. And all together, we had... We didn't have 50 this time. We only had 41 entries. So the odds of your name coming up are a little bit better. And I'm going to highlight the list of names here. Yeah, but the odds of Sherry grabbing something at this point is pretty hey, slim. Yeah, those are those are going to be, be some tough ones. Who knows? To somebody ends up getting a harmonica or something. I don't know. Somebody might get a lucky troll, too. That troll's sitting on top Ugh. of that bag. So I, hope no one gets the, I hope no one gets that troll. And our first quarter for this game comes up for Edward Lapsley. Okay, Ed. Quarters for you, man. All right, there she goes. She's doing a pull. Uh, I tried this one for Annalise earlier, and I was unsuccessful. And again, I am unsuccessful. Oh, well, I'm sorry, heck. Edward. Okay, who's who's next? All <laughs> right, so that was a Miss Redward. Our next quarter is for Don Shaper Pips. Okay, Let's see Don. Sure can do a win for Don. Oh man. Oh man, please don't grab that troll. Please don't grab the troll. Not the troll. Oh. The bag, oh, oh, not oh. the troll. Oh, oh she oh, almost got a Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Oh, that's oh no. Oh no. Oh, I just man. got startled by the troll on the dang arm again. I forgot. Oh, that, that troll in the arm is really hanging out there. I know. Okay, the next one is for Nancy Kitzinger. <laughs> okay. Let's go for Nancy. Okay, I'm going to need more quarters soon. Okay. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, take come care, on. Tammy. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, oh, oh shoot. That's a miss. Why am I having such a bad grab day? I don't know, but oh, guess man. what? Florence Delaney, your name is up next. <laughs> Florence, this could be a two mystery bag game. Let's okay. see what happens. All right, Sherry, you're playing for Florence. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, Come on. Man. Ooh, icky troll. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my she's god. A she has she a got a bitcoin. Token. Token. She got a Bitcoin! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Florence, congratulations! Florence. You got a Bitcoin token! You got a Bitcoin! It oh. is possible to win a Bitcoin. We've been trying really hard to give these away. Fantastic, congratulations, Florence! How cool! We still is have that? to work on that mystery bag for somebody else, but Florence, oh, man. you won a Bitcoin token. Okay. That'll be in your box with your mystery bag. Congratulations! I love it! That is awesome. Okay. So, winner of okay. a Bitcoin token. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> you won a Bitcoin token. So those cool. are cool, shiny. Now, it's the plastic case is kind of chewed up, but that's because it earned those chips honestly. It was used in the coin pusher for many, many games. It was. It was. The coin inside is in very good shape, though. All right. Cool. Congratulations to you. All right. Our next quarter here, because we still have to get that mystery bag out until this game ends, is for Susan Mayhead. So Sherry, okay, like, Susan. Susan wasn't lucky last week. Maybe she'll get lucky today. All right. With I that, don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I don't not know. sure. I don't know. That's looking. Oh, oh no! Come on. I'm oh. trying. Oh, I'm really I'm trying. Sorry, Susan, Susan Mayhead. I'm oh, trying. Man. Okay, so. Oh. Now on to Sharon Dillard. <laughs> okay, Sharon. Bryce oh, is man. really getting antsy there. He's waiting for his name to come up. His name is a ways down on the list. All right, this one's for Sharon Dillard. Okay, I tried swinging it to see what would happen. And oh! That oh. does it. I'm opening it. Well, there's trolls everywhere in there. Okay. I've got to open it. Sherry's going to adjust That's the it. contents That's of the machine. I'm not going to keep disappointing person after person. Ew. The arm comes through. Ew. Oh, but people want those Bitcoins. Bryce really wants one. Oh my God, I just... Ew. Ew! <laughs> I uh, really, I try. 
I'm trying. Okay. Barbara says, what is the world record for misses thus far? We've gone, I think, like 10, 10 in a row. And we're right now one, two, three, four, five. This is six. So we're not quite at our record yet. Uh, but Barbara, that was our first that was Bitcoin our first, giveaway. Yeah, first Bitcoin giveaway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And the troll has been taken off the machine and is quite unhappy. Yeah, but now Not it's in grab yet. zone. Ah, okay. I should have thrown it at you. All right, so that that. Who's there, next? We're going to make it all the way through to the top of the Sharon, list. That was Sharon, so now we're on to our next poll, which is Kenneth Long. Kenneth okay, Long. Kenny. All right, let's see if we can pull a mystery bag for Kenny. I'm on it. Oh, come on. And it's closing. Oh, and, come on. And, oh, oh, it's got the string. It's got the string. It might be a stringer. Uh -uh. Oh, man. No stringer. I okay. already rearranged Sorry, them. All right. Now we're Sherry's playing for Stacy. Oh, I'm in a slump here. Okay, we'll Stacy. Christmas tree up the week after Thanksgiving. All right, Stacy Harris. Okay, okay. Okay. She's I feel back. good about this. Looks like a good grab for Stacy. Oh, oh. Reel it in. Okay, head into the shoot. And, oh, we got a winner. Yes. Stacy Harris. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got a pair, and I really like these. I know I say it all the time. These are really nice jumbo dice. A pair of them. And you got our good friend Slimer. Why is it not in focus? You got our good friend Slimer and a lovely orange Christmas gift. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, Stacy Harris. That was awesome. That was quite a list of misses there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was eight misses. Not the kind of record I want to break, you know. Try not to break the record of 10. Oh, man. Okay, so again, congratulations to Stacy. That was awesome. So that was video 94, which was our Slimer video. Moving on to the video where Mac and I were trying to assemble a bicycle on Christmas Eve, I think. Yeah, come experience. on, you guys. It's not like you were trying to win anything out of a digger machine or anything. You think you could have built a bicycle. You'd wow. think we could have built a bicycle, but again, I think the instructions were <laughs> in not in the language. right language. I mean, clearly we ran into some problems putting that bicycle I love together. when they give you instructions for a previous model, <laughs> and there's like... That little thing doesn't even exist. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Sheila said, oh, Sheila's now saying, you should move it around and give the people at the bottom a chance. <laughs> well, the people at the bottom could be the people at the top for the next for the next one. You never know. And uh, But, you know, there might be something to that. Hey, Addison, good morning. Didn't see you join us. Uh, that may be uh, something. I have a niece do. named Addison. All right, so here's video, here's number 95, which we've not randomized yet. Sorry, Bryce. Don't want to get you too excited there, man. So there we have our <laughs> list of entries. Quit and, picking on Bryce. Uh, yeah. so Bryce, so we are a total of how many entries in this game? There are 41 entries in video number 95. Okay. So let's randomize this. And Sherry will not reorganize this till we go through the list one time, which would mean 41 misses, which would be quite incredible. Wow. I've now put it out there. We're wow. going to randomize the range and see who comes up out on top. The first one today is someone by the name of Sunshine. So, Sherry, you are we playing We have a goldfish named Sunshine. Sunshine. And yes, we have Check a goldfish it out. named Sunshine. Okay. Come on, grab it. Oh, grab Bryce it, says, grab it, grab it. After the random, I'm, I'll be last on the list. Okay, is that? Okay, it's around. Ha oh, ha. Going up for Sunshine. Ha ha. Oh! Boom! Boom, you got Okay, it. you got Sunshine. Well, Bryce, you weren't last. You were second to last there. Sorry, man. Sunshine, you got a, a bag full of world currency. I'm so sorry it's not focusing, but it's a pretty cool assortment of world currency. And you got a bicycle all in pieces because my guys were unable to assemble it, but... Here's what it should have looked like if they had done it right. Congratulations, Sunshine. All right, congratulations, Sunshine. I've notified Sunshine on YouTube. I'm using copy and paste. Thank you, Sheila, so much for that suggestion of copying and pasting messages. I should have been doing that long ago. Thank you, Sheila. And Sheila, you didn't realize you gave me that suggestion, but, you know, I inferred from 
some of our live streams recently. So again, <laughs> take care, Debbie. All right, so congratulations to Sunshine. Moving on to our okay. next video, which was a super mega coin tower with a Christmas tree star, star on top. 4,200 views in two days. Awesome, we love that. And we're glad everybody enjoyed that video. That was our Christmas day video. And in that video, of course, Santa and Mr. and Mrs. Claus were really darn tired. And Who wouldn't be? Wow. Unfortunately, they couldn't rest because the elves and reindeer wanted to play because they finally had a day off and they had to rile up the uh, uh, reindeer and the elves and get them back. <laughs> and they were all hopped so up on candy there. canes and hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at our entries for that video. Head back over to the digger machine. This was video 96. So I'm going to pull up the entrance for video 96. Wow. Here we go. For our Christmas Day video, we asked everybody just to comment. Any comment was sufficient for an entry. And what's really interesting is we have fewer entries on this than when we actually asked Mr. Bad questions. We only have 49 <laughs> entries on the Christmas Day I lowered Day video. the bar. I thought we'd get like a zillion it's, entries. It may also be, folks, we're, on, we're enjoying Christmas and not watching true, YouTube. True, true. So, Awesome. So here we go. We're going to select. So how many entries? We have 49 it? entries 49? for our Christmas Day video. Okay. All right. So I'm going to highlight everybody <laughs> and we're going to randomize the range and see who's the first one on the list. And the first one on the list today is Mary Ann Kneedle. Mary Man, Ann Bryce Kneedle, isn't getting his shot at all, but here we go, Mary Ann. That's right. She's looking through okay, the whole I'm list. Okay, I'm right here. over it. I'm right over it. All right. She's on it for Mary, Mary Ann. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I got that's it. A poll. I got it. I didn't think I had it, but congratulations, Mary Ann. And it's a bum ba da dum. Oh, cool beans. Colorized Connecticut quarter. I wish it would focus, but what? trust me, it is. And you got oh, it's a couple a of reindeer. reindeer. Congratulations, Mary Ann. All awesome. right, so I'm going to let Marianne know that she won the mystery bag for this video. Congratulations again to Marianne Kneedle for winning the Christmas Day mystery bag. That is awesome. Okay, so. Okay. Yes, and that's ah. random world currency. It's a now, fun thing. It's fun. It's some of our viewers have won it before, and... Yes. It's it's just it's just fun. It's not going to change pretty. your life. No, it's not going to change your but life. But it's fun to receive. It's fun to give out. It and, is fun. Uh, if you have if you have kids, they they ooh, it'll say there's like five thousand of something, yep. and they think that they're millionaires. But it's and really, here in the U.S., not, you just use dark greenbacks, slightly colored greenbacks. Kind of kind of boring. You look at some of the foreign currency. They got little plastic windows in them, and they're just really really cool. They're, they're With just, beautiful really animals on them, just beautiful artwork. It's amazing the currency for other yes. countries in the world. All mm -hmm. right, so. That was our Christmas Day video. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, we had several Flash in the Pans this week. Flash in the Pans are, we might be playing a complete coin pusher game. We might games. be doing one again later today. And you guys watching with us, we might we did a build a game where we had some basic uh, structures built in the coin pusher. And we asked you guys to help us build the game itself. And Figure um, out the characters, figure out the plot line. Wow, I really like the, the preview for that. I didn't intend the preview for this to do this, what it's doing right now. Sherry, you have to come see this. I don't know how this happened. I don't I'm know not what's... coming over there no, to get trolls There's no here. trolls. Just check it out. It's actually spelling out build a game as I was typing it and minimizing it in the corner. Oh. I just think okay, that's really... That cool. I, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, <laughs> but... We do those. We also oh, sometimes no. we have structures left over. So last night we had some structures left over in the coin pusher uh, after a game and we popped on a live stream and knock it over. So please make sure you subscribe so you get those notifications and can find out when we're doing those things. We may be doing another one sometime today. We've got a structure in the coin pusher. We're not sure what the game should be. And uh, we love pulling people in and helping us build that. And uh, they're just a lot of fun. The other thing about these flash in the pans is they don't last long, so they'll only be posted a day, two days at most before we pull them down. Because they're, they're only up two days if John forgets we're to pull going it. To, um, release, uh, you know, in January. So don't we don't want spoil them up there it. forever. 
but it's just a fun thing now, to get involved listen, with. Now, listen, I have... Talk to your... your, your uh, I have 13 quarters left. 13. And I think I'm going to need them because it's one of those giant mystery bags that's hard to grab and it's in a hard to grab location and could be someone ends up accidentally winning a harmonica we'll see what happens tell me who's going to be the first disappointed right, person so on the list says maybe in 2021 the randomizer maybe will be nice to me well maybe in this last video here the randomizer will be your friend bryce so we're i don't know there's a pirate involved this video here where cricket's sitting on top of cricket is here and the video we're going to do is right underneath her and that was roger and the mystery date game. Oh, Roger. We Roger. love Roger in, in this coin pusher. So pulling oh. up video 97 and all the entries for video 97. I don't, Roger is such a schmoozer. He keeps talking me into, oh, put me back in. Look, I'm a really cool looking pirate. Pirates are cool to using games. He's not. All right, Sandy McAllister has been busy renovating her spare room and missed a lot this week. Oh, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. But you know, isn't it nice to step back totally. and see the room, how it, it's just all totally different situation from previously. I love all that. All right, so I've highlighted and selected all of the names for this video, for this entrance. And Okay, I'll stop. Get, and Bryce, your name is there, plumb in the middle right now, but we're gonna find out what happens with the randomizer. Let's see if the oh, randomizer Bryce. likes Bryce today or not. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Bryce! Your first, the first entrance is Bryce. I kid you not, Bryce. No. The randomizer just picked you, buddy. Bryce, this is the worst possible one. <laughs> the worst okay. possible. Your odds of winning this are so Bryce, slim, man. To the top. Oh, this my goodness here, gracious. Other than by Google, Bryce, you clearly have uh, been communicating with the randomizer spirits. And uh, we're okay. going to see what happens here. Sherry, you're playing for Bryce. I'm not sure how to play this. This is like. Oh, man. Bryce, Bryce this is the worst. This okay, is absolutely this is the, the worst. There she goes. And she's going around. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh! I'm sorry, Bryce. Man. That was a close call, man. You at least got a quarter pull. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I feel terrible. <laughs> I feel and terrible. And, of course, we asked in this video to tell us if you had any blind dates ex experiences and uh, Bryce said he had a, had a few blind dates, good, mostly bad. Our next quarter goes to our viewer in Portugal, Elsa, who says blind date, never been on a blind date. Okay, Elsa. All right, Elsa, we're going to see if we can't pull this mystery bag for you. Oh, wow. That's about as good as... Ah! 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 I that think we're going to get it. Oh! Let me reel it in. I'm reeling it That's in. I'm reeling it in. I oh, Elsa, I do not believe it. That's I do like not believe it. Perfect pull. Okay. I'm sure you already know without me even showing you bicycle playing cards. And you got the stepsisters and that scaly wag. Man, I don't know why. Roger. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it's Roger and the stepsisters. Congratulations. Congratulations, Elsa. That's awesome. Wow. Good win. I almost had it for Bryce. That was so almost. close, Bryce. I can't believe that. I thought it was going to use up all my quarters. I really seriously did. Wow. All right. Congratulations, everybody. That was awesome. Wow. And again, if you're a winner, you, you haven't won so from us sorry. before, please make sure you email us, winnerweplayyouwin.com. Uh, we have, if you've previously won, uh, we already have your shipping information. We don't need that. But if this is the first time, again, make sure that you email us at that email address. And if you have any problems using email, sometimes some of our viewers do, just let us know in a comment on YouTube, and we can figure out an alternative way to communicate. You can also reach us on Facebook Messenger if you need to. Um, and uh, there's a link to that on our homepage. Uh, but again, congratulations to all the winners. This was really, really fun. Was it? It was. I disappointed more people than I have in a long time. So Bubba time. Joe, you're asking how do people get on that list? Okay. So we will um, re we will tell you here just a second. Do 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 do. All right, Bubba Joe. So in every coin pusher video we release, 
So we released a bunch of coin pusher videos this week. So here's an example of some of them, right? Our kissing tower game, Mr. Our, our Santa's workshop. In each of these videos we release, we ask a mystery bag question typically at the end of the video. Viewers have 24 hours from the time the video gets posted to comment on that video with an answer. And um, uh, that is your entry to that list. So when we ask it, uh, for example, in, uh, in this video right here, the mistletoe game, the Kissing Coin Towers video, we asked you to tell us your sto you have any mistletoe stories. An answer is valid of, nope, nope, I don't have any stories. An answer of, hey, wow, I kissed a girl under mistletoe and now I'm still married to her. 20 years later, that's a valid answer. Um, they can be anything. I, I choose to take the fifth. <laughs> and then we switch over to yeah. this microphone. It should sound a little better now. But all you okay, have to do awesome. is comment on you on YouTube within 24 hours of the video being posted. The answer in answer to our mystery bag question. Most of our mystery bag questions are open ended. Sometimes we'll ask something specific. Uh, one time we asked, uh, "What is the best secret ingredient to pizza?" Um, ours is beer, um, but it's yeah. an open ended question. So please. We'd love to have you on that list. All right. Elsa says, please give a coin to Bryce. I already won three times. <laughs> uh, Bryce has won. Uh, he had the one. He had the world he's, record he's for wins. He's got the record for wins in a single week. Yes, he does. That was crazy. I think he had four or five wins in, in, in a, a single week. In a single week. We did a mega, we did a mega give a, a mystery bag giveaway because we wanted to catch we were, up we to catch in real up. time. So we were going through like 25 videos of mystery bags on one Sunday. And it, Bryce was winning like every other wow. game. And, and since then he's in a slump. Right? And then today I choked. And Bryce, oh, you were man. you were like Oprah, right? As you were winning, you're like, you, you get a mystery get a bag. bag. You were giving away to get a mystery other people. Bag. And yeah. and also something else, people, if, if there's somebody you want to designate your mystery bag to, you can certainly do that um, during the live stream or in an email. You say, hey, can you please... You know, give so and so my mystery bag. That's cool. We've had some people like Bryce did that before, um, and you're more than welcome to do that too yeah. if you like to. So um, we're more than happy to honor those requests. Spread the just, smiles. Just let us know, and we can certainly do that. So, and Cricket is here, all happy, and she smells cookies in my pocket. Um, so and of course, cookies. there's other things I have in my pocket, like a troll. Oh you wait, no, I don't have a troll. String. You have pulled a string out. I did. Wow. Sheila says, "Give me a coin." <laughs> yeah, Bryce had like five out of six out of a number of bags. It was it, it was, was quite crazy. incredible. That was, wow. and that was, and also at that point we were do we had fewer entries for each video. We were only doing the first five, uh, but we were much smaller channel um, in terms of the number of comments. So yes. uh, we increased that so that we could get brought more participation and and you know share the love a little bit more. So um, thank you everybody for joining us today. This has been a lot of fun. Um, now we mentioned earlier that um, we might be do, you know do, going on to a live stream today to do another build a game. I want to also promote new, our New Year's Eve game. So on New Year's Eve we're going to be playing the Blind Coin Pusher, um, and we'll be doing a balloon popping game. So going back into our archive of videos here, uh, we used to yeah Bryce you do have a system for getting your entries in early. Uh, I sniffed it out. It was awesome. I loved your it system. It was great. It was great, man. I, I love that. I love I love finding rules and playing within the rules. It's it's awesome. That's how to do it. Sherry Elsa says Sherry showed the machine again just for bitcoins <laughs> for him. <laughs> so this video here, video twenty one, explosions and balloons, is a preview of what we're going to be doing on New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve. Um, we will be doing a balloon popping extravaganza. We're doing a blind coin pusher. I'll be posting the uh, ad for that uh, by Monday, so everybody knows what time if they uh, feel like uh, you know attending. And the goal will be for you guys to pop the balloons just like had to happen in video 21. And you have to get the contents of the balloons out of the out of play or out of the coin pusher. So if when those balloons explode, the contents fly everywhere in the coin pusher. So we had things flying all over the place. And if they fly out of play, of course, that's a win for you guys. So we'll give away at least one mystery bag. You have to be present to win on that live stream. If a if the bonus hole triggers, 
and a mystery bag comes out, we'll give away two mystery bags. And of course, if you guys win the game, then we'll give away three mystery bags and we'll pull those randomly at the end of the game. Now, if the bonus hole does not release the mystery bag, mm -mm, those, those trolls are Have a good day, like, Arcaders. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, Arcaders. Yeah, Carol, I know it. not everybody has won. Uh, we have a lot of viewers who haven't won. We, we give away five to six mystery bags a week. And uh, again, we have you know 40 to 50 entrants per game. So it's just a matter of time, but we gave away mystery bags today your to several are, people who've never won before. Your odds are way better than the before. lottery. Yeah, so Florence Delaney won a mystery bag today and she hasn't won before. She's been you know commenting up for a while. And Sunshine uh, was another viewer who's never won before and right. she won today. Your and odds are one in 40 yep. of winning. So that's if that was a raffle ticket, you'd certainly want to grab that raffle ticket. It's pretty good odds. Yep. It's just, is the universe in your favor or not today? Yep. So Melissa, I didn't see uh, your comment about our address, um, but it our address is still the same PO box. So here is our address. So that is our address there, Melissa. It's on our um, YouTube about page, uh, PO Box 938, CUNA, Idaho 83634. I'm not sure if that was what your comment was. Um, I but hope our, it was. Our email address has changed. And our email address, winner at weplayyouwin.com. Our old email also works too. So if you're using our old email, you can continue to using it. It'll work forever. Um, but this is our new one that we're going to uh, start asking people to email. People um, were getting confused with the W3. Yeah, it was kind of confusing. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Seaweave02. Hey, sorry you're late. Um, we just finished our drawings for the games. Um, but, uh, you know, your name almost came up a couple times in the drawing. So, And we um, are later today, most likely. Yes, Melissa, I can email that to you. I will email you our address. Yes. Okay. Thank you for asking, Melissa. But most likely at some point today, we will be doing a let's build a game. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we're not, it, it probably will not be super late like some of our others have been. It'll probably be uh, in a little while. We're going to do some lunch and stuff. And then maybe afterwards we'll, we'll do that. And some so, household chore stuff. Yep. Got to do some stuff around the house. And, uh, but yeah. And uh, let's just do a quick little preview of that. So folks know. Everyone, hold on to your lunch. Cause hold on to your he's lunch. He's going to do that thing where he swings cameras around, oh, sure makes like everyone nauseous. Oh, I don't know. That thing wasn't focusing this whole time. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? It's just looking at your hand, you know. I know. I'm trying to. There we go. So folks, here is our setup that we may be asking you for some assistance with building a game today. So Sherry's built some twin towers for the twin wall. We've got a window inside. We've got some game pieces out there. And we need to figure out what game to play today. So, so we'll probably be doing a, hey, let's build a game live stream. So think about some characters that you've already seen. Wow, John, you just you just had a green screen. Yeah. Think about some characters you've already seen because we already have those characters and how they could interact with that setup. And, you know, you've, you've probably got a couple of hours or so until we come back and talk about it. So do some, some, just some brainstorming, just put it on the back burner there. And if something pops into your head, yeah. try and remember. All right. So cover that up so I'm not making everybody delirious. Delirious? We're not delirious. Nauseous? <laughs> nauseous. You're making me nauseous. There we go. All right, so that's what we'll be doing in a, in probably a few hours after lunch. Can you tell me how much your profit after game in your every video, says Thelonious uh, Makarang? Oh, this, so, is, so, this is in our own home. This is, the, the only profit is we have fun and we've made friends all over the world and there's the only profit is knowing that we've entertained some people. Everything that's in that machine is that they, they're all props that we bought or made ourselves. Right. They there is no monetary value. The quarters are the same quarters get used game after game after game. 
zero risk, right. maximum reward. More our, reward our, than any. Our people. goal is to win the game. So we design a game we and we have game. to beat it or not. We don't always win the games. We lose a lot of these games. When you're playing a coin pusher or you're watching other coin pusher channels, effectively, they're trying to win too. They're trying to win money. We're trying to win the game. There's still tension involved. We enjoy and we really get into it. This is we something really we enjoy doing. It. But it's just for fun. There's not there's not a profit other than making friends all over the world. Right. There's not a money profit. And we also look to you, our viewers, of course, for game ideas. Hey, yes. Anime Martin. Uh, yeah, we love uh, incorporating stuff. And if you have... So many. Like half of our games have been viewer-suggested yep. games. We have the most creative base of channel members. We Absolutely. Really do. And you know, if you if you have game ideas, you can comment on any YouTube video. It doesn't matter what YouTube video. If you have, if you get inspired, the best way to give us an idea is comment on YouTube and say, "Hey, here's an idea." Another th way you can give us a suggestion, you can email us if you'd prefer. We've had people email us pictures of game setups. We've had people, uh, uh, you know, email us their ideas. Uh, we have some viewers. Gene S is, is is one of our amazing contributors who's giving us ideas multiple times a week, and we love receiving those. Uh, we and the more detailed the suggestion is, if you know exactly the characters, their existing yep. characters that we have, and exactly this is what the gameplay should be, and exactly kind of this is what the setup is, we'll usually the day that we get something that detailed, boom, right. we make it. Yep. So Sheila, uh, uh, you said the channel isn't even monetized. We are slightly monetized. We, we have but, a few ads, and what we do is the the, the 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 skippable video ads, they show up on our older videos. So once the video is 60 days old. 60 days, because we figure all of our regulars have seen it. We don't want, I don't like ads. I don't like them. I don't want to subject our viewers to them. You're my friends. Why am I going to make you do something I don't want to do myself? So they're two months old before they get an ad on it. And then it's just at the beginning Yep. and it's skippable. You don't want to see it. You don't have to. Yep. And then our, our videos, off of the viewable screen over on the side where it gives you the suggested hey watch this next there is a little static ad that you can totally disregard yep. you don't have to look at so it carol all. foss you asked is the next video new year's eve uh so gene s answered correctly so that uh just about every so monday through saturday we release videos so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday we release videos at 8 15 a.m mountain time 7 15 a.m pacific time uh, 9 15 a.m. Central and 10 15 a.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. That's when we release these videos, uh, unless we're doing a major live stream. So on New Year's Eve this year, we will be doing our we will do a small promo video in the morning, maybe five minutes long of just some cool yeah, scenes and, and, and stuff to, to promote. We're trying to figure out the... when's the best time to do a New Year's Eve game for a global audience. Is kind yeah. of... So Melissa's thinking of having snowmen invade the castle. So Melissa, that oh. that could be a fun thing to do. Um, let's let that it does it that does, does work kind of for fit it. for that. So because we're still winter time. Yeah. And Gene, you're right, and we've done some snowmen, but we haven't done it an invasion of snowmen <laughs> against the uh, against against the uh, the uh, the castle. Um, so that I'll we'll have to think about that, Melissa, and uh, definitely bring your ideas to, to the live stream. And we do get snowmen, so. Um, We've been doing a lot of surprise live streams where uh, we'll just he's, pop on. He's camera crazy. It's like, oh, I'm baking bread. Let's live stream it. Oh, you're washing dishes. Let's live stream that it. That was your idea. No, you were baking bread and you were making a big mess in my kitchen. And I had to <laughs> clean it up because I wasn't going to have just a big mess in my kitchen. No. And, of course, our, you know, our Pez collection and stuff. Pez too, collection. But... Things that people asked about. Yep. You know, because we're totally, we're, we're as transparent yep. as it's going to be. But anyway, New Year's Eve, we will be doing a, a special uh, live stream plus a short promo video in the morning. Promo will include snaps of previous blind games, uh, some uh, unseen shots from some of our failed balloon popping experiments. That took us that um, took us like four or five days of trying and trying and trying to make that thing work. Yes. We figured out a system to pop balloons in the coin pusher, and it's, we spent a long time trying to get it to work just right. And uh, we're hoping to How let hard everybody... is it to pop a balloon? You think it's easy. You, you think, think it's super you think, easy. Oh, easy peasy. It was not. <laughs> it was not easy. Yes. And what would happen is the uh, the first balloon would pop in the first like three minutes. A balloon would pop. Yep. And then an hour later, 
no more balloons would have popped. That's right. And so we re take it apart, rebuild the whole thing, and the first balloon would pop in the first three minutes. And, and then, then nothing. an hour later, I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating. And it was four or five different days, Set ups. Re repetitive attempts each day for four or five days. So it's we spent a week essentially it, it, to do the one day yes. video that nobody watches. <laughs> nobody liked it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the stepsisters are throwing snowballs trying to trying to distort the snowmen. Ooh. Ooh. Melissa, I, I like the way your your brain is thinking That's on this. Interesting. Uh, we've got a protagonist game. and yeah, we've got, got stepsisters an versus the snowmen and the stepsisters. Uh yeah, you know, the stepsisters are usually the aggressors. Maybe it's time for them not to be the aggressors for a change. Yeah, they're always the they're they're bad always guys. the bad guys. They're always going. They're always chasing after they're after always Roger. Trying to mess up the princess's life in some way. They're always they're they're Edward. Hounding. Edward, you, you're spoiling our video, man. What? So Edward Lapsley, you said old man year on a tower, old man winter on a tower, baby New Year has to get to the towers. Edward, we actually we have a baby New Year video that we have we've a already baby filmed. New Year video, and it's that's lined up similar. Waiting to go. Hey, uh, Bubba Joe, I'm really green. A word to respond the answer YouTube where. Okay, Bubba Joe, I'll uh, so I'll 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 show you. So here is so the the way you respond. So and Bubba, I don't know if you're watching on a computer or you're watching on the TV uh, on, on the phone. TV or a phone. It it depends on which device. But if we on each video, so here's a video. I find on, the underneath easiest, the video. The easiest for me is on a computer. Right, you'll see the comments, okay? And you post a comment underneath that that particular video um, that you've entered. That's on a computer, and that's that's how I usually watch YouTube, and it's the easiest. I always look for the easiest way to do stuff, and that's how I have to do it. Yes. I do comments on a computer. I don't know about on TVs. On phones, sometimes they can be hiding. Yep. And some of our some of our viewers are also uh, 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 answering in in chat there, Bubba. But this is where you post a comment is directly underneath the video itself, um, depending on what device you're in. And uh, you're not the first uh, person to uh, you know have those questions. So right, um, yeah, definitely this, has, good question. this has come up before. Yep. Uh, so N eight four true. So do you have a coin machine in the garage? Just curious how you're able to set up all the different walls. So uh, N eight. So hey, it, let me just this is, yeah, let me just show you right here. This is so. this was formerly our daughter's bedroom, and she moved out, and so we turned it into our well now it's YouTube studio I guess, but yep, uh, it's our playroom, and we use it to play music in, and we have our coin pusher in here and our digger machine. There's the digger it's machine. It's just it's in our own home. Yep. We're not, we are not in a casino. We are not in an arcade. This is just our own hey, Red Dog. private residence. Yep. And we produce, uh, we film. One a day. We, we film seven a week. We release six a week. And yes. uh, some of them don't work and others do. Some so. of them don't work at all. And Melissa says she was thinking this way because I have two stepsisters that I have always felt left out of events. Oh, Melissa. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Well, you know, that's. The, the more you're telling your story, Melissa, the more you're making me really want to do a stepsisters type game. <laughs> so um, I think that could be a lot of fun. So Bubba Joe, I don't have that. Um, okay. So uh, Bubba Joe, are you? Bubba Joe is on a phone. I have a hard time doing it on a phone. Finding the doggone comments. Yes. So it can be definitely trickier on the phone. Um we had we had some viewers last your week. YouTube app is right there. That were was asking for some help with that as well. So let's see if John can fix this. All right, N eight four true says thank you, thank you, Tracy. Also, YouTube recently moved to comment code around. It makes it a little more difficult to find on the phone platform. Oh, is that what's going on? Because I have a heck of a time. I I prefer to comment on my laptop. Right. Because I have a hard time on the phone. Right, it's so, not just you, Bubba. It's it's a lot of people having a problem. Yep. Myself included. Now that we've helped people customize and save with so, we can finally do some beach reading. All right. So I I what I've done here is I've opened up a random phone for one of our uh, YouTubers that we, we we watch for Jason Callen, trying to get that up there. So 
here is a video that's starting and we have an ad on it which I didn't mean to so normally this is what what it would look like something like this trying to get it to actually focus uh. and you'll see that right here there's a comments that says comments one right there you should be able to tap that gray box and it'll look kind of like that and you can type in a comment unless YouTube changes their mind about doing it that way right they they do not make it more user Easy. friendly every time they do an update I swear it's a little trickier yep. it's not just you Bubba yeah it can, it can be tricky and um, and certainly when it comes down to notifications of events, YouTube is notorious for not being really good about notifying people when things are happening either. They notify me half of the time. It also says you can put Roger trying to catch Bigfoot and at the same time running from the Minotaur and the Stepsisters. That could be something, Elsa. Yeah. I'd have and, to use Kong as Oh, and Melissa, Tracy Hagen says that you have, that Tracy has two evil Stepsisters too. Oh. Gene S says I use my phone for comments all the time. No problem. Melissa says, I'm the baby of my family, one blood sister and two stepsisters. And my stepsisters were always mean to me. Gina says, exactly just like mine. Tracy says, I have two older full sisters and two older stepsisters. And Bubba Joe says, guess what? I don't have that either. No! Um, yeah, I'm at, I'm at a loss exactly, Bubba, of how to, um, uh, of what the challenge might be to get, uh, on your device. So, Bubba, I, I'm guessing you might be using an Android or just a, got a lousy phone. Yeah, sometimes, now sometimes that, that those comments, I've found what them. What do you mean he's got a lousy phone? Well, he says, I got a lousy phone. See, oh. right there? I, I'm not I'm not adding it. Okay. I would never accuse <laughs> somebody you're of that. dissing on someone's hardware. Right. Now, sometimes I've found I have to scroll to find the comments. Um, I don't know, and you, they won't. You probably won't see them on this video that you're watching right now because this is a live stream. Uh, the comments won't necessarily show up there right now, but on another video they might. So, like right now, this is this is what it looks like for me. This is our video we're doing right now, and you'll see it just well, it's, it's just the chat, chat so. or you just have the chat, right? Now, if I close that chat by clicking the X in the corner. But if he does it, he's going to disappear you'll note, from us right you'll now. You'll notice that um, the comments shows up after closing the chat. But there's also a button there that says live chat. You can click it. And it'll bring that chat back. I don't know if that helps, Bubba. I know I it's not very know. clear. I'm trying. YouTube is not user friendly. It really isn't. Yep. It really isn't. They think that they're, oh, we're going to get intuitive. We're going to make it easier. And really, they're just adding bells and whistles that yep. make it trickier. Yep. Tracy Hagen says, yep, the only one who let me join is just wanted to get me in trouble. The rest wanted me to be invisible. Ah. Bubba says, it's cheap phone for phone calls. I'm lucky to have this. Hey, totally get that, Bubba. Um, totally get that. I make all my comments on an Android I, phone. I think you probably have the same phone John's mom has. I'll bet you. No, that one doesn't do YouTube. Oh, your mom, his mom doesn't even do YouTube, no, period. No, my, my mom is not interested in smartphones. Oh, my goodness. Well, Sandy says, I've been with Jay 20 years. Congratulations, Sandy. Sherry and I have been together 20, going on 21 years. 21 next month. Yep. Uh, my two daughters and his two daughters, and now 10 grandkids. Everyone has wow. been equal. Wow. Anything else is wrong. I agree, Sandy. 10 grandkids. <laughs> Bumper crop. That's right. Barbara Sullivan says, I have to scroll past all the suggested videos to find the comment section. Yes. Now, see, I hate that they do that, that they that they make it more difficult to comment. Right. And then they they YouTube thinks, oh, they, they like reward you for getting comments as a creator. They they rank you higher, but they've right. made it so much more difficult for your viewers to comment. They it's do. It's like it doesn't make sense what they're doing. Yeah. It's it is definitely confusing. Um yeah, sometimes again, it's just uh, like like Barbara said, you have to scroll, and um, they're 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 there somewhere. It's just a question of where, and and recognizing it. Sometimes it's really really tough to find. So, um, 
Mona Delgado says, I'm not a stepsister, but I felt like one I was playing when I would ask my mom, was I adopted? Oh, Mona. My brother, my, my, one of my brothers, he would all the time, he would insist he was adopted and he would say, my real parents would let me do that yep. all the time. He all was right, take adopted. care, Bryce. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. Your name Bryce, did come up at least once, but I almost had it. it. I almost had it. Oh, uh, Melissa man. says I was left out of everything until this year, but still felt left out because everyone was talking to everyone else till my kids and grandkids got there. Then I was being talked to. Um, yeah, I, I I can understand that. N84 Truth says they're making everything more difficult. Careful talking about it. They get sensitive to certain subjects. They do. <laughs> Trayson says, I was 18 months old when my dad left and was blamed by my sisters for him leaving. Oh, that's not oh, that's great. not fair. And my stepsisters, stepsisters were jealous because I was his daughter and had his last name. Family, uh, politics are a very interesting okay. dynamic challenge. It's, it can be very frustrating at times. It's, it's not fair. Sheila's been 27 years married, together 34 years. Wow. April 30th. Congratulations, Sheila. That's that's really cool. Uh, Elsa, I must be younger that, than my brother and sister. I was in accident. No, there are no accidents. There are surprises. There are surprises. Elsa, Elsa, you were a wonderful surprise. Wonderful surprise. No accidents. No human being on the face of the earth is an accident. They're just hey, take care, Bubba Joe. Have a good day. Yes. I hope Bubba can figure out how to comment on his device because I'd like to see him on the list. Yep. So I can disappoint him like I yep. disappoint Bryce. Yes. And we had a viewer last week who was having the same challenges same. that Bubba Joe has. And uh, do with help from, from our viewers. And, we got um, good folks. I think Sheila was, was helping quite a bit. He was able to figure it out and comment this week. So I think that was Douglas. And Sandy uh, Goshinsk, uh, Goshinsky. Goshinsky, been married for Name 40 years. Butcherer. Still going on. I, I I worked at that. Goshinsky. 40 years. That's cool. And Gene S has been married 18 years together, 34. Wow. Wow. That's a... Wow, you sure strung them along a long time, Gene. <laughs> I, wow. I'm sure there's some interesting <laughs> stories to that, Gene. Be told sometime. Cool. We've got a lot of interesting uh, uh, stories out there amongst our viewers. We love hearing and reading about it. And uh, if we were just a regular channel, we wouldn't get the opportunity to yep. hear all these awesome stories. I like that we're more of a all right, honey. Family. It's it's top of the hour. We're gonna go. Oh, yeah, cricket. What? Cricket always knows when the hour is flipping because she lays down and just looks disgusted. Okay, we're done. Elsa, I don't, you were a surprise. You're a surprise. And just like our mystery bags are always a surprise. <laughs> always a surprise. There are. And uh, it's all about what, how we think about things in our own mind. It tells us how, how, how we're going to feel about something. And it's easy to get down about tough things. And it's hard to be positive. It is. It's like we're we're wired to remember bad things better than we remember good things, and you have to say no. Nope, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna remember the good things, yep. because you'll get bogged down in the bad stuff, and don't have time for that. Do not have time for that. Just focus on the good things. Yep. Elsa, you are a surprise to us. You are a surprising and wonderful person and wonderful viewer. We love your comments. We love your your suggestions. Game suggestions. I have to tell you, Elsa doesn't just do game suggestions. She does. She knows exactly what characters. She knows exactly the rules. She she draws just with text, ASCII. She draws out a map of the game. And it's like, holy smokes. Wow. Elsa, you've got like the brain of an engineer. Because it's, it is tricky to do that and get things to line up. And it's like, cowabunga, we are doing this game. Just amazing. It, it, 
your your attention to detail, Elsa, is fa fantastic. Fantastic. You know, and we talk about you being a surprise, and you are a surprisingly wonderful, amazing human being, Elsa. And we are happy that you're here. With every us, day, every, every day, day in our channel. We got good folks on our channel. We got good folks, we, and I, I'd like to see us all get tighter and tighter, and and welcome more people in. We got good folks, creative people who care about other people. Absolutely. I'm I'm just I'm so glad that we have this channel. I'm so glad. And I, I just want to show and demonstrate. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I want to show see this. you. You're going to see what Elsa what does. What Elsa does because it is so amazing. I just want to make sure that. So this is an example of. Let me pull this up. Game and suggestion from Elsa. It's like, wow. There it blows we go. me away. This is this is the, this is what she does, and it's it's amazing. I mean, check that out. Look, look at the detail. I mean, she's 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 sharing, you know, dice and and locations of tokens. She's drawn out the shelves on the machine. It's, you know, she gives us a, a key <laughs> with all the various pieces and and her idea and we love it. It's it's amazing, Elsa. Uh thank you so much for for your ideas. And we did this game and Elsa we did uh, it. and it it's uh going to be coming out really soon. But it's scheduled like just, in the next week or so. Yep. Again, I just wanted to share that because Elsa, you are an amazing person and um, a surprise joy for us. Mind on our of channel. an engineer. Absolutely. Mind of an engineer. And with a big heart. It is. And we've got a lot of viewers um, who give us ideas, and there are some. We have, who give we us have ideas the every most week. creative Jean, Elsa, people. Melissa, uh, Patricia, Gina, Sandy McAllister. Kenny. Oh, the list is long. We have creative people. Wow. I Every day I'm like, wow. Yeah, Ed, make sure you get some sleep, man. If you've got to be at work at 3.15 tomorrow, oh. take care of yourself, man. And and really to all our viewers, we, we, we love and appreciate everybody. And we yeah. notice when, especially some, for our regulars who have been here, you know, for, you know, even just a couple of weeks, we notice when... You disappear for a while from the comments. We always and wonder we what's going on, we think, and we hope everything's hope someone's okay. Someone's not sick. I hope they're not having, having yeah. And problems we're always at home. hoping everyone's having you know, moving on with their life and having a good time, and is out there. Oh, good! Um, they don't have time to watch us. That's right. That's awesome. That's awesome. But, you don't have time do to watch us. That's awesome. But we do. We notice. Right. We notice. And you know, like one of our one of our regulars who's who's been on many of these live streams with us, Kayla Fuller. She's been busy off, and life has been going on, and we haven't seen her for a while, and. We hope everything's okay with her. She commented the other day, and it was awesome. And uh, but you know, if if you can't comment and be here, that's totally cool. That's cool. Oh, I'd be happy, happy, <laughs> happy, happy. Okay, Cricket is saying it's time. All right, She's everybody. She's got complaints. Cricket is saying it's time to go do some cooking. I think it's time to go do some cooking. Yeah. Hey, and that's totally cool. I mean. Go live life. If, if if you stop commenting on our videos, we'll be like, hey. Oh, that's, no, it's totally okay. Must be it's in a good totally place. Okay. We hope things are awesome. We just want to let you know that, you know, we do notice and care. Notice, and when you come back and, care. you know, it's it's important to us that you're taking care of yourself and that everything's okay with you. And that's that's all we care about. Right now, the, the concern is because of COVID and everything, the first thing that I think, every time that I don't hear from somebody, I think, oh man, I hope they're not sick. Because we've had a number of people commenting that that the virus is in their household or whatever, and so I I I worry. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, she's okay, folks. Cricket is really really getting so, agitated. So, um, <laughs> you know, Patricia and uh, I, I I like your suggestion. So, Patricia, I made it so. Merry Christmas, Patricia. Elsa, welcome. <laughs> Elsa, I've now marked you as a moderator on our channel, so you are now blue. So awesome. Joining Sheila. So congratulations. All right, Sheila. All right, everybody. Sherry, do you want to sing us out? Oh. We're gonna go eat too. So. <laughs> Hey, no, we're. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been dealing with with your painful knee, man. Oh and, man. And uh, you know, again, we just want everyone to be okay and healthy and happy out there. And 
yeah. and taking care of yourselves. And uh, if you know our videos are, are will certainly Give always be there for you all the time. So yeah. grab your coat, get your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep. Oops. I... Okay, starting over. Grab your coat, get your hat. everybody happy new years we'll see you again and expect us to come back on a live stream in a little while and uh we'll be doing a build a game later tonight so hopefully soon okay all right take care everybody bye